you have a lot of knowledge about this location. Yes, I have. But you haven't used side image and outer shot live to sort of map out the area. No, no. I Oof. That's a good fish, Stefan. Today I hooked up with Stefan Olsson. Yeah, I think you hooked a pretty good fish. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, no, 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 no. And we're drifting against the current so that the bait really can drop down. Hello, River Pike. River Pike. River Pike is doing it again, and we're having loads of fun. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of River Pike. Today I hooked up with Stefan Olsson. We're out on the spot and Stefan hooked up the first fish of the day. And I have a camera bag standing in the way here. You can just hold it there. All right. Is it a strong river pike? Yes, it's really strong. I think it's, it's not quite big then. She's making you work for it. Yes. Yeah. That's a beautiful fish right there. You hooked perfectly to the side. That's a real nice. Congratulations, Stefan. Thank you. Good work. So, we're gonna release this fish and we're gonna do a proper introduction. There you go, baby. First fish on the Canal Gratis collar called Baby Smolt, right? Yep. Yeah. Created by Pontus Sjölund, re rejected by Johan Ruve and then reinstated again by Pontus Sjölund. Should I release your fish? Yes, release it. Today it's cold, so I don't want to put my hands <laughs> in the water. So guys, let's do a proper introduction of Stefan. All right, so now we got the first fish out of the way and welcome to the show. My name is Johan Ruve and I'm uh, hosting this series on Canal Gratis called River Pike. A couple of weeks ago, I was at a conference at uh, it's a fishing in the middle of Sweden conference, and uh, I was there talking about social media, and uh, I hooked up with Stefan. Yes, that's right. That's right. And uh, Stefan and I we started talking over the lunch about pike fishing. Yes. And you went out after that, and just a couple of days ago, you caught a very nice pike. Uh, three days. I three think. days ago. Yes, three days ago. And how big was it? Uh, Ten point six kilo. Ten point six kilo. So that's close to twenty three pounds, I think. What did you take on? What lure? A uh, wolf tail, sinking. Yes. Yeah. We love them. They're, they're very popular around this area in yes. the middle of Sweden. A lot of people fish with wolf tails. Yes. Do you did you cast it on spinning or trolling or? Uh, it was a spinning. Yeah. Yes. And it was right here, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now we're here, and um, you have a lot of knowledge about this location. Yes, I have. But you haven't used side image and outer shot live to sort of map out the area. No, no. I haven't. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna use the outer shot live to map the area to see what the bottom structure really is, especially on the hot spots where you caught big fish. Yes, yes. And we're gonna compare it to your local knowledge and see if it can help us find, you know, sort of develop your own fishing, get your own fishing even yes. better, and uh, hopefully put Johan on a big fish. You never know. Might get lucky. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, great take. Just yeah. under the boat. Yes, under the boat. And it was running like... The... Is it a big fish? Ah. Yeah. A little bit better. Yeah, because the rod is just still. Yes. All right, you just keep pushing there and... Uh, We'll see what happens, folks. Haven't been fishing for long at all. Maybe 10 minutes of fishing. I hooked the small one, and uh, Stefan hooked the one before. And now he's hooked up again. And this one is playing with him. It made, <laughs> a, it made a really good run in the beginning. I think that uh, this might be a good fish, actually. Yeah, this is a better one. Uh, we're watching the rod tip to see if it goes like this, it's probably a smaller fish, but this one is going deep, deep, deep. Oh, we're getting the engine out of the way. Yeah, I think you hooked a pretty good fish. <laughs> I think this My might heart, be it. But is it pounding? Yes. <laughs> Exciting. Uh, Maybe you... personal best. What's your personal best? 10.6. 10.6. <laughs> Well, let's hope we can increase that just a little bit then. Let's 
So we're spot locked and we're in an eddy. So we're quite good here. We just have to wait for Stefan to fight this fish. Oh, That's a fucking pig. Oh. This is a big fish. Push, oh. it, push it forward. Closer to me. Uh, yeah! Come on! Come on! No, forward. no, no, no! Oh! Yeah, that's your ten. Ten kilo again, I think. Great <laughs> work! Ooh. Ooh. There, so there, there, bro. All right, on the wolf tail. Same lure you caught your other ten kilo fish, right? Yes, yeah? yes. Same lure. Yeah. Hello, River Pike. River Pike. River Pike is doing it again, and we're having loads of fun. All right, so uh, uh, we gave it a weight, and she is uh, amazing. 10.7 kilo. 10.7. Yeah. Uh, so now we're going to do the measurement, see how long she is, and uh, then we're going to release her. And it's a personal best for you yeah. today. Yeah. So this is a good day. 119. 119. Pretty fish. Pretty, pretty. This is a pretty girl. This is pretty what they nice. look like in the river. Yeah. It's our second pike over 10 kilo in the series of river pike. Three days. And it's the third pike over 10 kilo in this boat. Yes. And that's very good. And I'm a very happy guy. So uh, we're just, I'm just rewinding the sonar here so that you can see what happened here because uh, we came to this spot and there's an eddy here, Bakvatten in Swedish. You can see over there, there's some foam lying on the water. And as you can see, we have a hole here where we have plenty of bait fish and we can actually even see them on the surface here, right Stefan? Yes, they're, they're, they're up, yeah, they're up. So when you have located an area like this, where it holds bait fish and where you have stuff lying on the water standing still in an eddy like this, or a vortex or a swirl, in Virvel, this is the place where the biggest fish live because they're very good at saving their energy. Yeah. That's what they do. Instead of anchoring on top of them, we located them with side imaging, anchored a bit away from them, cast our baits into the school. And that fish you had was probably following from around that area where it was feeding and hunting. Yes, exactly. And exactly. ate your wolf tail right underneath the yeah. boat. Yeah, a real bite. <laughs> it took on a wolf tail, sinking, um, just between, behind the boat. Yeah, indicates maybe that uh, you're a great angler <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> it comes. Uh, big fail. Yeah. Well, what can you do? 50 <laughs> minutes of fishing. <laughs> We got a whole day ahead of us. Yeah. A lot of things can happen. Yes. Yeah, they can. All right, so uh, if you turn around, you can see the sonar again, and you can see, oh, there's plenty of bait here. We're fishing some new waters uh, that Stefan has seen before, but he hasn't really gone in here behind the islands. And uh, we did that uh, just for fun. We're gonna move now uh, to, to another location, but we just stopped here. And you can see there's a lot of water pushing through. And again, we have an eddy and we've just been fishing for a little while here and boom, uh, we nailed the fish immediately. And again, the trick with river fishing is to find where the water slows down, but where you have a big current close by that pushes food, um, makes for a good place where there might be food. And when there, where there is food, there is pike. And this is a pike. And it is eating my bait. There she is, de-hooked and ready to go. And there's a worm. Ste See, Stefan? Yes. It's a worm on the fish. Yes. It Indicates been. it's been standing in the weeds. Yes. It's been standing in the weeds. Yeah. Mm. I'm not going to kiss it. <laughs> All right, so we're moving where there's a warm water outlet. All right, guys. It's uh, close to 
sort of a factory. All the place in lakes and everything, if you find a factory or something that uses um, water to cool down its engine or uh, wh wh whatever it might be, uh, if, if they're pushing hot water into a normal cold water lake or a, or a river, uh, that place can hold more nutrition because of the heat. And more nutrition means you get a better uh, sort of food chain thing going on. I mean, more nutrition for smaller fish attracts the bait fish, attracts the big pike. So we're going to go there and check it out, right Stefan? Yes, go right now. Yeah, or, I think okay. we should go right now. Yeah. Uh, now we have stopped for a new place, the warm water outlet, and we will see if the, there's some pike here. That's a lot of bait fish under the boat, and uh, we will see if we get some. Yeah, the bait fish is standing from 8 meters to 4 meters. 8 to 4 meters. Yeah, so we got 4 meters of a wall with food. Yes. 4.2 degrees, almost half a degree or 0 0.7 degrees Celsius hotter in the water here. And uh, yeah, place is packed with bait. It's packed. Also, we can see actually that there is an outlet because I can see bubbles rising from the bottom. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I see Nearly. that on the sonar. You see the little thing that looks like big pikes trying to go up and eat the bait there? That's actually bubbles rising from the bottom. Interesting. I think if we hit fish here, they're gonna hit hard as hell. Stefan. Yes. We got like 20 minutes of more light. Yeah. What do you say we fish? We do the classic. We, we, we put in time outside the harbor where we launched the boat this morning. Okay, sounds a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I it. noticed on the sauna that there was a big hole full of bait fish. Yes. Right up south. It, it actually, the harbor is over there. And it actually creates a perfect eddy. Mm. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. There's a lot of shelters and stuff around, you know, yeah. the docks and harbors. And I mean, here it's the conditions looks very good. It is good. I've do you know anyone who caught yeah. anything around yeah. the harbor? The, yes, there have uh, there have been some great catches. Really? In the harbor, yes. Yeah. On the first ice. On the first ice? Yeah. yeah, first ice. So that means that the fish is probably there right now because we're just a couple of weeks away from ice probably. Yes. Now you see it. Uh, depth is... Uh, it's going down. It's going Here down. we have four meters. Now oh, it's going to go down like... Like fast. We're going to search it until we find bait. Here we go. Here's the bait. Here's the bait. Here we are. Ooh, this looks hot. Hot, 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 hot. I wonder if that's perch. They're a little bit shorter. This is a cool, cool, cool spot. We were supposed to go home, but we were like, oh, let's do a couple of more casts. We want to catch one in the harbor. So we did. It's not a net it fish, is. is it? It's not a huge one, but it's But it's nice. still a pike in the harbor. Ooh, it's fighting you. Yep. Look, it's blind. Yeah. They ice fish a lot here. Maybe. See that eye? Very cool. Hey, bro, look at your fish. It's a fat pike. Yeah, If really you catch fat. a longer nice. one here, we should start. Every day we go out, we should start fishing in here. In the harbor? Yeah, you should give it an hour, half an hour, yeah. an hour. Yeah. On the wolf tail. On the wolf tail. On the same. Uh, yes, same as the hen. Was and this was the lure you caught the other 22 pounder too. On, yes. Right. Yeah. The same lure. Good color, that. Red wolf tail. Yeah. All right. Nice work. Thank you. So now we can wrap up this day. Now it's the day. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. That's a good fish, Stefan. Congratulations. Thank you. It's, it's not the same size as your fish. 
it's a little bit less but it is a good fish it is a good fish it yeah. is a good fish and it's the first fish on the canal gratis color designed by me and Pontus Kjærlund and Jorge Wester and it's called search and destroy and it searched and it destroyed it's a beautiful fish so we're gonna put her on the keep net gonna get a proper measurement and a proper length now we're gonna release her yeah, it's 114 and you can see that it's it's got an empty belly but it's a beautiful little specimen let's put her back let's get another one shall we Real nice. Real nice. Real nice. It's 114 centimeters. 114. So, you know, you can see there's much, it's, it's got a lean back. So, a little bit more weight to her and it's gonna do it. So, uh, I had 10 grams of lead and we're drifting against the current so that the bait really can drop down. And uh, as soon as we hit uh, more than seven meters or eight meters, we started to find bait fish. And we actually saw something on the sonar that we, right Stefan, we discussed, yes. what the hey is that? Was that a very, very big fish? We don't know, and seconds after, boom! Lots of fun, always fun when you're designing new colors. We love the McRubber, but uh, yeah, we wanted this, uh, we wanted a color of our own just for fun and uh, it's a fun color obviously because it works this was the first trial let's do it again Stefan yes see if we can find one more before it gets dark all right see you soon nice fish nice fish nice Stefan fish. Really this is heavy. a big fish yeah really heavy do you see it no 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 it is a big fish yeah Here it is, Ooh. yes, it's a nice bike. Here you have it. Thank you, Kjell. Okay, the water now. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. On the red wolf oh, tail on again. Red, on the red wolf tail again. My personal favorite, I Ooh. must say. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. 100 and... 15 115 115 that's great that's great let's get a weight yes okay stefan hold her up for the camera and then put her back 9.4 kilo 9.4 kilo 115 centimeters yeah let's put her back let's put her back let's put her back and continue this perfect pike fishing day it was the cast immediately after i hooked my fish yes you're good on the big ones, Stefan. <laughs> You're a good guide. Loads of fun, and it's a beautiful fish. She's coming around, right? Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Little lad. It's a very, very angry pike. Smaller, but uh, more explosive and more aggressive. On the baby smolt, also canal gratis color, and uh, this lure is the McRubber, weighted, and this fish took very close to the um, to the edge. Yeah, should we release her? Yes. Really this fair. is a fun day. I'm looking at the <laughs> sonar. It's like, hmm, there's more here. Exciting. Oops. I'll put it on the right keel. Here we go. There you go. River pike, Stefan. Yes. That's fun. That's really fun. That's really fun. Strong fish. Not a lot of them. We, uh, it's been a while since we had a take. But when they're hitting, they're hitting so hard. And we're finding decent fish. No more Sprattelgubbar and small ones. Only the big ones. And I love it because you have 
you actually have uh, trout in this area, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's why uh, me and Pontus designed this color because uh, we it was designed for river pike, and it's working. I was fishing close to the bottom all the time, so I'm checking my hooks now to make sure that they are super, super sharp, and they are. Because if they're not, you might miss the fish, as they are not biting. They are taking and they are swallowing, but sometimes, you know, they're just nibble. And we're drifting against the fish, so therefore we need to have a very sharp hook. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you. And uh, we we'll hope to see you again very, very soon. I hope so. Take care everyone back home. Don't forget to subscribe to canalgratis.se. Check out our other films in the River Pike archive. And uh, hope you catch a big one. We'll see you soon.